Hurricane Irma intensified and the storm's path is a little bit clearer tonight. The massive storm is still days away, but everyone in the country could feel the brunt of Irma. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's always good to see you. With the very latest on the storm, Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean joins us live in studio tonight. And Basil, which island needs to be getting ready right now for Irma's potential landfall? Uh, right now, as of 5 o'clock this afternoon, Irma has become a Category 4 hurricane on the Safari Simpson scale. And we'll get to those islands in just a minute, but just let me give you the backdrop on where Irma is and what she is doing. At 5 o'clock, 16.7 degrees north longitude, 54.4 degrees west. Irma is moving toward the west at around 13 miles per hour, and the maximum sustained wind have increased to 130 miles per hour. And uh, as the forecast uh, track shifts tomorrow, which we anticipate towards the west-northwest, that track will bring Irma into the southeast Bahamas, at least the center of circulation early Friday morning, but the tropical storm force winds will begin affecting the southeast Bahamas, including the Turks and Caicos Islands, from late uh, Thursday night heading into Friday morning. So all of these islands are in that cone, should be readying themselves for the arrival of uh, Irma, but more in particularly Inagua, the Turks and Caicos Island, Meg Warner, you should uh, make sure that you are ready for this system because at least the hurricane force winds certainly will affect those islands, but everyone else in the Coon will experience some degree of tropical storm force winds over the next uh, several days headed into the weekend. So residents in the central and southeastern Bahamas from uh, the Lutras, the Exumas, all the way into the Turks and Caicos Island should be watching this system very, very closely. And once we begin the warning system, we ask you to follow all the advice that we will be given in those.